did have a prior occupation before he was a real estate agent. He is a advanced speaker, gold, and advanced leader, palladium. Very impressive. He is going to speak on a subject that is actually a subject of a movie that was well done, I felt. And he is going to explain to us why greed is good. Greed is good, Mr. Jeff Landau. Jeff! The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Who knows what movie that quote is from? <laughs> Anybody? No. Gordon Gecko. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I thought we'd get it a lot quicker than that. The movie is called Wall Street. Wall came Street. out in 1987. Yeah, Wall, 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 Wall. Yes. And for those of you that didn't know before I, I got into real estate, I was a trader. I was a day trader. I traded stock for six years. And during that period of time, I was one of the few su successful traders. There were I've seen a lot of people come and go during my six years. And the common thread from the people that failed wasn't that they didn't know how to trade. They didn't know how to manage their greed. Mm. You see, one of the most fundamental lessons that we learn when we start to trade stock is to keep your losers small, let your winners run. That makes sense, doesn't it? Cut your losers short, keep them small, let your winners run. The problem is that doesn't coincide with how we're wired as human beings because we want to have winners. So when what happens is that you have a winner in a trade. You put on a trade, it starts to be a winner, then it kind of stalls out, and you want to take your trade. You want to have your winner. You want to cuddle it and poke it and just have this little winner. So you cut it short. You want to bank it, I have a winning trade. Then when you have a losing trade, let's say you put the trade on, it turns into a $100 loss, and you're sitting there, and then it kind of stops, so you have time to think about it. So now what do I do? Well, it's a $100 loss. Well, let me see what happens with it. So I don't want to sell it right now, because then I'll have a loss. Well, next thing you know, it's a $200 loss. Now it's been proved. This wasn't the right trade. We've got to close it out. But if you close it out, then you bank your loss. And you start thinking to yourself, well, if I would have taken the loss a couple minutes ago, it would have only been $100. Now it's 200 Let me see what happens. Et cetera, et cetera. The winners are short and the losers run for a lot of people. Well, I'm going to share with you three stories that may seem fabricated to you because of the numbers involved. But I assure you, the only thing that has changed, I've, I've only changed the names of the victims to protect their innocence. This guy comes into the office, very successful commercial real estate agent. Comes in, late 90s, internet stocks are going crazy. He buys Yahoo and Amazon. I'm sure we've all heard of those companies. Well, he happened to stumble on them, did a good job, but he let his winners run. Bought the stocks, didn't really trade them. Come into the office for a couple of minutes, he turned his computer on and see that he was making money in them. Turn his computer off and leave. We're all scratching and clawing to make $500 or $1,000 a day, and he just comes in and leaves. And end of the first month, makes $80,000. Oh, $80,000. He didn't make it, his account was <laughs> up $80,000. He still had his Yahoo, still had his Amazon. I was dumbfounded that he didn't close them out and take his profit. And he says to me, you know, Jeff, if I knew it was this easy, I would have quit real estate years ago. Well, market takes a little turn the next month, 
And the month after that, he closes out his trade for a $250,000 loss. Mm. Greed is not good. It was this guy, good trader, sitting down at his desk, and we'd have a little box that shows the open trades that we have and whether, it was, whether the position was profitable. He loved this stock, Ariba, and it was okay. Kept on adding to it. It was going up. He had a $100,000 profit on that stock. People would walk by his desk and go, I'm sure he could listen to that, and he felt good about it, and he just sat there just looking at his screen, $100,000, oh, it's all looking good. We were all, we were all jealous, $100,000, that's crazy. So what do you do with that? Do you sell it and bank your $100,000? So what happens in that circumstance? Let's say the next day he comes into the office and stocks down a little bit. Maybe his profit's $95,000. A problem I wouldn't mind having. Well, you start thinking to yourself, if I would have taken the, the profit yesterday, it would have been 100000 now it's ninety five. it will go up and down. Let me just see what happens. A couple days later, maybe his profit's down to 92000 Again, a problem I'm sure we all wouldn't mind having. Well, fast forward, he took a loss in that oh. trade. A loss. He, greed was not good. Last story I'll share with you. This guy fell in love with this stock company, Juniper. For whatever reason, buys it at 125, had to leave the office, go to work or do whatever he had to do. Stock was in a little bit of a loss. What does he do? He asks me. He holds on to it. Next day, it closes a little bit lower, so he had a loser in it. He didn't want to sell it. And he tied up all of his money in it. So the next day, he'd come into the office and look at the screen and leave. The next day, he'd come into the office. I don't know how many months it was. Come into the office and look at it. He sold it at 12. Oh, wow. At 12. He was kind of hoping it would come back. Never did. Greed is not good. See, a simple definition of greed is simply the desire for more. So greed can be good. Well, in certain circumstances, maybe not the circumstances that I was just sharing with you. The successful traders that I've seen have also shared common traits. They have a plan when they come into the office and they manage their greed successfully. Mr. Toastmaster. Take a minute and do an evaluation of Jeff's speech.